guys, welcome back. This is Jenna here. Today we're going to cover another continent, well, actually another country in our uh, food journey. We're going to make one of the most popular Thai curries, the green curry. It is so fresh, so packed with flavors. It has um, lots of textures and lots of layers of hotness and sweetness and freshness. This is one of my favorite food ever. I say that all the time, but because I collect all my favorites to make it for you guys. So we're going to start by making the green curry. Um, no mystery, uh, we, come on, we live in a, in a real world. So there are some ingredients that are not easily access, uh, accessible to all of us. So we're going to substitute here and there to adapt to what we can achieve. And that by no means, I'm saying that this is the original curry, but it is, it is as close as it can be to the original one and uh, not much loss to the flavors or everything. Come on, it's like delicious as well. So let's start with the green curry. And uh, we're going to start by adding onions or shallots, garlic, galangal, uh, I couldn't find the fresh, sugar, if you have palm sugar, even better, ginger, Kaffir lime leaves, deseeded green chilies. I have deseeded it. You can deseed or not, it's up to you. And some Thai basil. Lemongrass, coriander roots. Uh, now, if you can get your hands on those roots here, by all means, use it. And then the whole coriander with the stalks and all. Thai basil is uh, a little bit uh, more anisey than the regular basil. If you can't find uh, Thai basil, please use uh, regular basil. And we blend it all together. Alright, now that this part is covered, we're going to uh, combine everything together, which is very simple. In a skillet, we're going to combine coconut oil, just a teaspoon, just a little bit. And I'll show you guys why. The way I have learned to make this curry, it's uh, I learned from a, a, a Thai lady in London. It's uh, a little bit different than what we see all over the internet. I have researched to see if there was some something um, similar and I couldn't find. And the way she made it, she dropped a little bit of the coconut milk into the skillet. Careful. And she let it reduce. Almost to the point that the oil is going to separate and it's going to be like a, almost uh, in a, a golden color, but not golden because one, we don't want it to burn, we want it to reduce, and second, we don't want by any means to alter the bright green color of the curry. And this is why there are some things you can substitute and some things you cannot. For example, uh, the green chili. If you use red chili, now you're gonna have a brownish kind of uh, color, which um, it won't alter so much in the, um, in the, in the flavor, maybe a little bit, because the green chili has a little bit more fresh taste as opposed to the red one, which is a little bit more fruity. But um, yeah, so we need to pay attention to that. See that this is reducing a lot. All right, so now we're going to add the curry paste. Now remember, we have a lot of raw ingredients that need to be cooked, which is the, um, the onions, especially the onions, the garlic, and the ginger. So we're going to take some time here now and add the whole can of coconut milk, and we're going to be reducing it. Can you do that with coconut uh, cream? Of course you can. Then just control not to get it too thick, add a little bit of water, but you definitely can. Now at this point we add coriander powder and cumin powder. 
and continue to stir it. A little bit more coconut milk. Right. As it cooks through, you're going to notice that the color is going to get a little bit more, um, a little bit less bright, and it's going to be an, a little bit more dull. And for that, I have the solution. You can uh, blend a little bit of uh, Thai basil. And if you don't have Thai basil, don't do that with the regular uh, basil. Do it with spinach, with a little bit of uh, coconut milk. And then add, after you fry all the curry paste, it will uh, bring back all the colors. And that's what I have here. Can you see how bright it is? It's ready to be added. All right, so now that everything has reduced and uh, most importantly, everything has cooked through, we're going to add the rest of the coconut milk. Oh, not the rest, another can of coconut milk. The whole thing, because in this dish, we don't use water or stock or anything, only the coconut milk. And now we can add our uh, vegetables. You can add mushrooms, uh, eggplant, you can add potatoes, you can add zucchini. I'm going to add the uh, carrots and the uh, bamboo shoots and tofu and this is it. I want it to be fairly simple. So, in with the vegetables. The bamboo shoots that I have here, they're canned in a uh, salty brine. They're very hard and they uh, need a little bit of cooking but as much time as the carrots need, so you don't need to worry so much about that. And let it cook through in a low flame until the carrots and the bamboo shoots are fairly tender, but not soft. They need to be a little bit crunchy. And while everything is cooking through, let's take a moment to talk about substitutions. Like I have said before, uh, we are not trying to uh, emulate or we are not trying to uh, make a, actually we are trying to emulate the Thai food or any kind of food we make here we are trying to get as close as possible to the original and uh, I see sometimes people oh this is not the original of course it's not the original but why wouldn't you make it just because you don't have a few ingredients I mean this is uh, the beauty of cooking this is the beauty of homemade cooking do you have the freedom and the liberty to add or not add these or that ingredient according to your taste? Why not? This is very fair, isn't it? I particularly, I love experimenting. I like, um, I know uh, the original recipe, but I like to uh, adapt to my taste. There are some ingredients that I like more than others. I am not a fan of, uh, for example, Brussels sprouts. So. If a dish require, uh, I don't know, some in a, in a stew or in a soup, if requires a Brussels sprouts, I'm going to add less, obviously. I'm not going to add what the recipe calls if it's not to my taste. Let's not forget salt. Because the non-vegan version calls for uh, fish sauce. And we don't have fish sauce. But remember that I made the uh, dashi the other day? using the dry shiitake and the kombu leaf. That's exactly what I'm adding here because the fish sauce, is a, it has a lot of sea flavors and uh, some uh, depth, some umaminess, which comes uh, from whatever it is that they make it. I think it's fermented, but uh, the dashi has almost all of it minus the salt. So that's why I'm adding the salt and the dashi that we prepared the other day according to your taste or oh, you don't have access to uh, bamboo to um, kombu or whatever that you okay leave it out it's not gonna hurt this is your curry and it's going to be just as delicious now the tofu We can lower the heat now. Some people add the tofu last. Some people don't even add the tofu along with the curry. They uh, serve it separately. I think it's fairly interesting 
if you can add the tofu because you know tofu it absorbs all the flavors it acts uh, it behaves uh, uh, such as a sponge it absorbs everything so if you put it earlier it's going to be like it's going to taste even better oh by the way i uh, braised the tofu a little bit in the skillet with no oil no nothing just braised a little bit i'm, I'm adding here uh, you can add chilies you can add um, red uh, uh, bell pepper whatever kind of uh, red uh, pepper you have just for the color I think it's a little bit uh, nice the contrast between the green and the red and the taste of course and um, but bear in mind that it has a very uh, low cooking point so you want to add it uh, once you turn off the heat or like right before we don't want that mushy and overcooked in with the baby bell pepper all right and our curry is ready it was um, ready in under, under 30 minutes i think right and uh, it's so worth it this house smells so fresh and it's summer so it's really refreshing and it's at the same time it's really comforting and what i'm gonna do i'm going to oops a little bit hot i'm going to add that into my bowl I'll be right back. All right, I have just cleared my station here and I'm going to add the curry in this pretty bowl here. So healthy, guys, you gotta make this. I'm salivating, I'm not gonna lie to you. My taste buds, they are like having a party there. So I'm going to obviously try this. But first, let's garnish it with a little bit of basil. And now, of course, I'm going to try this. Just a tiny bit because it's so, so hot. Oh my God. Oh, mm. it's a little bit strong. I deceded the one chili, but the other one I left it whole because I wanted a little bit of, of a punch. It is, oh. It's like um, lots of flavors. It's like a, 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 all over the place. Fantastic, delicious. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have loved it as much as I did. I love this dish. Next time, perhaps, not the, the next video, but along the way, we're going to make more Thai curries because uh, I think this is perfect for summer. And uh, don't forget to watch my tip videos. They are so nice. I have... Um, collected a whole bunch of uh, food tips and cooking tips and um, perhaps um, gardening uh, whatever you guys want me to uh, help you with because after going to the cooking school we have we, um, we have so much knowledge and I think it's a little bit unfair that I have a YouTube channel and I'm not sharing that with you guys so that's what I'm gonna do and don't forget to like share subscribe and uh, pass this video along if you like it and I'll see you next time have a wonderful week Bye-bye.